assalamu alaikum good morning today i am going to discuss some one of the most amazing material that has been researched in this century and that's name is graphene so graphene is extracted from the graphite graphite as we know one of the allotrope of the carbon and it is used in our daily use item like lead of a pencil that we write then it is called that it is highly resistant but at the same time it is highly conductive this material was uh, researched by invented by two of the scientists named andrey jim and uh, kostya novoslov so these both are in the uk they have done experiment in their laboratory and they developed this material this material uh to suppose to understand that this is one of the allotrope of the carbon it is like diamond it is like graphite but it has the property of high thermal and electrical conductivity like another plastic material they are non conductive but this is is uh, different just of all the material because it has thermal conductivity at the same time it is elastic as all other plastic these characteristics could be one of the great use of for innovation in different sectors and represent a real revolution so where we can see suppose in the uh, mobile phone if we replace this battery or the cover with this graphene material the uh, life will tenfold better than the existing one better than the current one then because of high conductivity uh, through the use of graphene the useful life of battery the life of the battery will be increased by 10 times as well as charging in less time because when we are taking like uh, earlier there was 4500 ampere uh, battery and now it is getting 5 5000 or 5500 so its charging time increases proportionately but here in the use of graphene uh, the power of the battery has been increased by 10 times but the charging time has been reduced so it is only a matter of time before graphene replaces a large part of the lithium battery because the lithium battery that we are using right now so we are expecting if it is change our life of the battery will be increased by the 10 ta times it's a drone drone when it is flying from one place to another place or in in one city maybe maximum 5 km people using or 10 km around not more than that so here the major weight of the drone is just a battery so it is like 75% of the weight contributed by the battery lithium battery so if we replace it with the graphene their weight will be reduced significantly and that will give us more option more time to keep this uh, drone in the air then uh, so it's make the lightness then the car part the bonnet the uh, light this portion can be changed with this and that will increase, not only increase the life of this the weight of the car as well so it is uh, just because this can be done because of high resistance it is less than uh, it is said that it is the resistance is more than 200 times of the steel but at the same time it is so flexible then the next one is transparency and flexibility so what is the transparency and flexibility the graphene is a transparent material the, the one of the most beneficial item that you cannot see uh, usually if you are not focusing on it but it absorbs very little light only 2% of light has been absorbed or is absorbed uh, by the graphene material if you the focus light over it so thanks to that and its flexibility uh, flexible screen could be manufactured all types of devices so wherever the flexible uh, screens are being made that we can replace it with the graphene furthermore graphene can be folded like a cling film cling film that we are using uh, in edible oil uh, industry or the edible products to cover to uh, uh, make it safer for the environmental attack so it could be applied in the manufacturing of cell phone television or other parts of the vehicle uh, the scientist advising to focus on the uh, energy sector construction electronics and in the health segment so we will see one by one that how it could be 
effective in the uh, these four sector or to be taken as a trial purpose. So the first one is energy sector. The energy sector there is a great leap towards energy efficiency since it has higher conductivity so the energy efficiency will be increased but at the same time the thermal conductivity because it absorbs only 2% of the light so it will pass the heat of, of coming from the sun to the residential complexes to the houses so it will not allow a light to pass in that's why the house will be not not turning into a heat chamber or the heat will not increase so you will have the redux, uh, reduced use of the air conditioning. Then the next is renewable energy. So renewable energy mainly we are using solar or the windmill. So in the solar or the windmill the large expense or the large space taken by the battery. So if this battery could be changed from the graphene so the weight will be reduced at the same time the energy holding capacity will be in, increased by 10 times. So uh, and then in construction the same thing that the paint uh, whatever the paint we are overlapping over the wall so if it is mixed with the graphene material so since graphene allowing only 2% of the light to get in so the only the making the paint of the graphene uh, graphene paint in your house your ha house will be uh, cooler in the inside or still longer cooler in the inside suppose in the morning we are getting use of AC in most of the months uh, in uh, GCC countries so here if it, the uh, building will be painted by the graphene paint then most of the time most of the day we will get, get our house heated in afternoon so this is the most useful material to be going in construction then health segment in the health segment uh, it is saying that graphene is stronger and more flexible so uh, it can be made uh, lighter hearing aids and uh, speaking about making bones and muscles these two parts this is a major portion in the uh, major revolution is going to take place that the bone is made, made of steel that we are replacing at the moment so this can be replaced by the graphene and this will give uh, the similar kind of or more strength uh, than the existing one then graphene in electronics here electronics as we already talked about the battery but the second thing, the electronic sector, uh, where the application of this material is smaller, lighter, tougher and more efficient, devices could be manufactured, impossible to obtain with the components that, that are used today. So whatever uh, the cover or the bonnets or the lights or the LED, this can be replaced by the graphene and the life of these parts could be increased significantly. Uh, however, it is said that 10 times, but it, uh, we will see when it will come actual in the huge. Furthermore, graphene applied to uh, electronic circuit, that is IC that we are using right now, is made uh, by the copper, but if we replace with the graphene, then immune to dampness. So this will uh, not be impacted, since it is one of the plastic components, so it will not impact by the weather dampness or the rain or uh, the water so we can see uh, very uh, nearby that there is a waterproof phone then uh, the question that we are going into the next video that why it is not being produced commercially however the tesla one of the most innovative company in the uh, world they are taking trial for this material and hopefully they will launch very soon uh, for the car spare parts or the light or replacing to uh, LED by the graphene light so uh, they are doing experiment but what are the problems what are the barriers they are facing that we will discuss in the next video see you